Oh yeah, brother. You know what you get when you mix real life, Tekken, and pro wrestling? What you get, brother? A whole lot of hurt. Oh, yeah. Let's shake and get going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a rush. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got Ibrahim here joining me and today we are going to perform a move uh, based on King's uh, Rage Art in Tekken 7. Now this is a pro wrestling move and with that being said it is a stunt. So disclaimer, please do not try this at all. It is very dangerous and you can get seriously injured. Ibrahim and myself, we have been involved in the pro wrestling scene in South Africa for quite some time and we know how to do this safely. We are going to lay some basic instruction, but once again, uh, you will need a coach overseeing you. So if you want to get involved in pro wrestling in South Africa, I'll put uh, two links in the description below. They have wrestling schools that you can sign up for and you can train in a safe environment to learn how to do these moves correctly and safely. All right, with that being said, enjoy the video. Cool, so for this move, you can see it's more of a, a driver. There's a, a serious like spike on the head. But we're gonna modify it to do a bit safely. So it will come across more of a type of body slam. So we are gonna go through the process of learning how to do a body slam. So first, what we need to do is learn how to do a handstand bump. It's pretty simple, you go into a handstand, uh, hands shoulder width across you lock your arms out you don't even have to hold the handstand but you have to push with your hands and go forward landing on your back between the shoulder blades keeping your pelvis up so you're not landing on your butt or you're not landing flat back so that way you don't injure yourself and your feet and your back or the top of your back has to land at the same time so one crucial detail that is the most important, is tucking in your chin when you do these falls, all right? Important thing is, is that you need to brace your neck, ready for impact, and keep your chin tucked, all right? Because otherwise, you're gonna hit the back of your head on the mat, and you can get severely concussed. And concussions, as we know, can lead to more severe things later down the line. So, always protect yourself, tuck your chin in. So next up would be the body slam, all right? So for this, we are gonna be working together. Cool? Importantly, when I pick him up, he jumps and he needs to be able to hold himself in the position. I should be able to move with him freely, all right? And then also, of course, I just guide him down. That is very important. I help tuck in his chin and I put him down where he can take the bump safely and effectively. Cool, so I'm gonna body slam Ibrahim here. So, important details is where I place my hands and where he places his hands, okay? So first up, this comes over and he will be gripping the back of my shoulder blade there, right? And I will be grabbing over the shoulder there, all right? Cool, lovely. And then he's gonna place his hand on my quadricep or onto my hip, anywhere above the knee or locked in there at the hip. This is usually the safest spot by the hip because I can bring out my leg a little bit and he will have a more firm uh, 
let's call it a, a pillar to hold on to. All right, cool. So once we have our hands in place, this one comes underneath. And on the count of three, one, two, three, you'll jump and you'll hold himself. Now, as I let go, he should be able to hold himself quite nicely. Okay? I should be able to walk. Here. I move this hand from here to here, to behind the head, and put him down gently so he can land flat on his back. Cool. So once you've mastered the body slam and can do it safely, now we can actually start modifying it because now you understand the basic principles on keeping it safe. All right. The uh, worst thing that you can do here is actually break somebody's neck. And that is the type of thing that we would want to prevent while performing the stunt. So when you run with your partner on this, ensure that you can keep them stable. If you cannot keep them stable, then you're going to struggle to pull this off. We go for a lift for a body slam. Boom! Now the important thing is how we swap our grips, okay? So this hand comes here onto his waist and he adjusts his hand from the hip onto the other hip, okay? So now I should be able to move with him freely with him on my shoulder. And then we can finish off with the run and slam. So now that we know how to adjust our grips, let's finish off with the slam. And we're going to be doing it in a way that it's more of a body slam rather than a pile driver because we don't want to break Ibrahim's neck today. Cowabunga. You win. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. Please hit subscribe, hit that like button, and hit the bell notifications. It's a small click for you, but it's a massive help for me. Thank you once again and have a good rest of your day.